Hi everyone, I'd like to introduce you to these individuals who have alopecia areata. Many of you may have heard of alopecia, but you might not know that this type of alopecia is driven by the cells of the immune system. What happens here is that the cells of the immune system, for some reason or other, go to the skin and attack the hair follicles, thus leading to hair loss. Um, this can happen over a period of weeks, months or years, but when it gets to this point, it's very unlikely uh, that the hair will go back. So I want you to imagine getting alopecia, maybe this happens over a period of a few months, and then you go to see your GP and they tell you that they don't have any treatments for you that will work. You can imagine how this is going to make you feel, how it's going to uh, affect your work life, your relationships and your general well-being. So it's important not to blame the doctors for this. The reason we don't know how to treat it is because we don't know what causes the disease and therefore we can't target it properly. And this is mainly due to a lack of funding into alopecia because a lot of people think it's a cosmetic problem. But we don't agree with this. So in order to understand the disease further, we set up a research clinic in Glasgow to collect samples from these individuals. We collect blood and then I take the blood back to the lab and isolate the white blood cells. And this is where the immune cells are. I then use a technique that allows us to look at over 70 different cell populations. And by doing this in multiple patients, I've found that a specific cell and their molecules are significantly raised in the blood of these individuals. And we think this is really important. Aside from blood, we also collect stool samples from these individuals. And this may seem strange as alopecia happens in the skin, so why are we looking in the intestine? And the reason for this is that it's been shown that um, a lot of inflammatory diseases are actually uh, associated with the intestinal flora. And this is a friendly bacteria. And that's because they can actually influence how your immune system works. And our close-up patients think that there's a link between their alopecia and what happens in the intestine. And this is because if they try different diets, it seems to influence their hair regrowth. Um, so by doing this, we hope that we'll provide a further understanding of what causes alopecia so that one day, if you, your friends or your family get alopecia and you go to your doctor, they'll actually be able to offer you a treatment that works.